to, to the boys and let them score as well. I want to go back to last week. We want to go back to last week leading up to the game. Yep. <clears throat> Tell us the depths of despair and the frustration with, once again, you being raci racially vilified. The impact on you, the impact on your kids, the impact on your family. Can you let people... I know you've done it before, Eddie, but can you let people into your life and into your mindset when that, that plays out in front of you? Yeah, um, yeah. Well, it was tough, you know, knowing I, I found out that, that, you know, that tweet came out and then I actually wasn't going to post it up, so I've to be honest. I, I thought, you know, w what's going to happen? You know, do I have to deal with it again? The stress, the... It's just tiring, just fighting, 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 and it just keeps happening every year. For the last 10 years, and you know, the last six years over in Adelaide, I've been racially abused every year online. I had banana thrown at me, and quite frankly, I'm, I'm getting really sick and tired of it because it, it just drains you, and, and, and you, and you kind of think, why am I playing footy, you know? Um, but then I, then I think to myself, I need to let people know what I'm going through. With everything that's going on in the world, you know, with over in America, Black Lives Matters, and this this still, stuff is still happening here in Australia and it's still happening to us, um, to Aboriginal people here in Australia. And, you know, it, it, it's draining. So I needed people to understand that I've got to set up barriers every day when I leave the house. I, I think I'm going to get racially abused when, I, when I'm driving or when I, when I go to a supermarket. You know, all I want to do is just rock up the training, play, have uh, enjoy the game of footy, but but before then, I've got to set up barriers for myself because I get racially abused. And, you know, sometimes on social media, they, they set up fake accounts and, and you can't catch them. You can't call them out. And, you know, it'll happen next week again. And, and I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. But I want the AFL to be a safe platform for young Aboriginal kids to, to come and enjoy and play footy without being racially abused. I, I, and if I have to take the full brunt of, of, of all that and to continue to drive and educate people so that the platform, the ASL platform, is a safe spot because young Aboriginal kids, this is what they do. They get racially abused, you know, growing up. But the ASL is a safe spot for, for us to come and um, enjoy the game that we love. And, and if I have to cop, you know, with most of this um, racial abuse coming my way to set the standards in the future so these young Abri Aboriginal kids can come and play footy and enjoy it without being racially abused, I'm happy to cop the brunt. But... At the moment, uh, just getting sick and tired of it, Robbo. It, it hurts. It hurts myself. It hurts my family. Uh, and I'm sick of fighting. How do you balance, Ed, 